Welcome to STAD Foundation Advanced Tutorials by Civil Thinking and this is our another class. Now in this class we are going to see how to design a combined footing using STAD Foundation Advanced V9. Okay. Now before I move on I suggest you to please watch the video lectures on STAD Foundation Advanced in sequence as in the playlist so that you understand better. The playlist link is in the description or also you can click on the pop up on your screen. So let us begin. So first of all, let me create a new job. Okay. So it will be general. So before moving, let me save this job first. So let me call this as combined footing tutorial. Okay. Okay, now our job has been saved. So let us move. As always, we will move from one step and we'll keep going downwards. Okay, until we finish. Okay, so we begin from the foundation, and here we define what we define the position of the columns first. Okay, so let me first, you know, add one column at the origin zero zero zero. Then I will add another at a distance of ten along x axis. Okay, then I will add another. 20 at a distance of you know 20 from the origin. Okay, now these are our column positions. Okay, now to explain you know uh, something special you know basically an error because we often sometimes get errors. So let me create a non-linear position. Okay, so let us say we have one column. At a distance of zero, zero, and this is at a distance of ten. Okay, so you can see this one, two, and three. They are linear, right? They are linear. Linear means they lie on the same line, but four is out of this one, two, three line, right? I created this so that I can show you one common error in the you know creation of the combined footing. Okay, so. We have created these. Now let us specify the size of each column. Okay, the they are all rectangular, and the size here is one feet. Okay, now if we wish, we can change. But I am good with you know the length and the diameter of the column as one feet. Okay, I am good with this. Okay, so let us move on. So let us go to the loads. Okay, now here I will create a new com. Uh, you know, load case. I will name it as dead load. Okay. Now, for the sake of you know simplicity, for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to create only one dead load case. Okay. No live load. Okay. So let me add a magnitude of the load minus fifty. Okay. And I will hit on assign to assign load. Assign to view is selected, so it will be assigned to all. So you can see our loads are, you know, applied, assigned successfully to all, all of them. Okay. Now let me generate a load combination. I will use this American code. Okay. Table seven sixteen. We have generated the service load combination. Now let us generate ultimate load combination by clicking on this button. We have generated both the loads, right? Load cases, and you can see there. The load cases are here. Okay. Now let us move on. We are done with the loads, right? Now soil properties. These are you know bearing capacity factors. I am also good with them. Okay. Now if you want to change anything, you can always change. Okay. If the bearing capacity factor is different, okay, in your project, so it is not a big deal. So we are done with the soil properties. Now let us create a job. Okay. So I will name this job as combine footing job okay so job type i have to select combine this one is very important right so here it is combine okay now i am going to combine which i am going to uh, combine 1 2 and 3 okay i will combine them okay so assign to selected is already selected okay and i am going to use all the load cases okay so i will hit the second button Okay, and I will click on create. Job. 
So here we have our job is ready. Okay. Now we, there is something important here. Strip. Okay. Now why it is strip? You know because if you remember in the previous class we use this for the you know strap foundation. Okay. But we are here creating a combined footing, right? You can see job type is combined. So what is this strip here? Okay. What is this doing here? So this strip is basically you know the location of the combined footing. Okay. So when I since these three are selected, you can see they are colored means they are already selected. One, two, and three selected. So when I click on this create, so it will kind of you know add a strip. It means the you know the combined footing is going to be along this strip. Okay. So strip is kind of you know location. Okay. So nothing more than that. Okay. So since it is already, you know, they are already one, two, and three. They are selected, okay, and they are linear, okay. So I will click on create. So you can see this kind of strip, okay. So it means the combined footing is going to be in these locations, okay, along the strip. It means, as you can see, it is along one, two, and three. So this is going to be our combined footing, okay. So this strip is only, you know, kind of location and nothing else, okay. So in both strip foundation and in both combined footing okay we need this strip you know to assign the kind of location okay so okay we are done with the you know this job so let us customize this job add some you know parameters now this is the concrete and reinforcement okay now these are the values which you know which will be specified in your project okay now if you can if you want change if you need to change anything okay they are very simple you know straightforward things you can change them here for example what what is the unit weight of concrete in your project what is the minimum bar spacing in your project okay so what is the you know strength of concrete right you can change the unit is here too okay so these are very straightforward and you can change them based on your project specification okay then we have cover and soil this is the geotechnical part and these depend on soil conditions as i have told you before right so again these things are provided in your project okay you can change them okay so right now i am not going to change anything okay i am good with these values okay and then sliding and overturning it is almost 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 now coefficient of friction is 0.4 now if you wish you can change okay 0.5 for example not a big deal so the now this one is the design okay so i will hit the design button okay so let the design begin so let us save this first okay we got number of warnings are zero number of errors are zero which is a good thing okay so here we have our design is ready okay so this is our combined footing this is the calculation sheet okay you can see all of these details okay so the depth of the soil is you know top depth you no know, top depth of this combined footing is 2 feet okay here we have you know 3 feet okay so this is the 1 feet this is the thickness and this is the plan view okay the thickness of each you know column is provided these are our three footings okay so we have column 1 column 2 details and column 3 details okay now what is column 1 column 2 column 3 you can see here this is column 1 right because you can see in the green 1 this is 2 and this is 3 okay so this is what it is column 1 column 2 and column 3 okay so you can see all of these things okay so this is the unit weight of concrete the compressive strength of concrete so as i have told you before you got get a you know detailed calculation but most importantly i will show you the bending moment diagram okay let me see if i can find it yes here it is no this is shear diagram right this is shear force diagram one way shear and where is the bending diagram here it is okay so this is our bending diagram okay so this is the you know moment diagram of our you know combined footing okay as you can see so everything is ready okay now since you got we got zero errors now i will show you one common error okay so let me explain here now 
let me you know edit this job okay i will show you what kind of error we get okay so you can see if i select view from the top you can see one two and three is linear okay so we can create a combined footing if they are linear okay now if you select you know for example you select this four okay uh, let me just you know delete the job first i will create a new job okay now let me create a new job I will call it as combine footing error okay this because this is the common error I will select this is combine footing okay now assign to all supporters now I will assign to select supporters now let me assign this support now I will hold the control button this support and I will hold this okay now I selected 1 2 and 4 right 4 1 and 2 you can see they are not linear okay so I will try to you know create a combined footing for them and I will show you the error okay now create job even the job is created and you don't see any error yet okay now we have to select the strip of course because my intention is along 4 1 2 so this has to be the strip right so they are already selected okay you can see here we have some error all the supported selected call supports are not linear okay so this is what I wanted to tell you okay so when you know whenever you try to create a you know a combined footing along non-linear okay supports you will get this error okay so one most important thing is they have to be continuous then you can create a combined footing okay so that is fairly everything okay so if you have any doubts you can comment you know and again if you need any help in your you know foundation engineering project using CITAD Pro or CITAD Foundation Advance, okay, you can contact me, okay, so that's it for today, see you in the next class, thank you.